Hey, how's it going? It's Lee Halliday, and we're going to be covering some JavaScript fundamentals today. Promise.all and promise.any. For when you're dealing with uh, more than one promise at a time, and you either want to wait for all of them to resolve, or you don't care which one, just give me the first one that resolves, and that would be promise.any. We're working all in the terminal today in Node. I've got my code over here on the left, my terminal on the right. And what we're going to be doing is using Axios to fetch some exchange rates from an API. Now, promise.any isn't currently available in the version of Node I'm using, uh, which is 14.1, uh, but that doesn't mean you can't use it. It's still in proposal stage. You just have to import the polyfill. I've got a function main here, and I'm calling it below, and I'm putting my code in a function so that I can use async await, because you can only use async await inside of a function. So to get started, let's create an array of currencies. So const currencies, we'll do USD and CAD. So we'll deal with two currencies right now. And what we're going to do is map over those currencies, calling Axios for each one of them. So const um, results equals currencies.map currency. And then we'll do Axios.make a get request. And we'll pop in this API, so like that, and we'll replace the hard-coded CAD with whatever currency we're dealing with. So this is, there we go. It's a sort of an auto return arrow function. And let's take a look at what's inside of the results, like that. So we come over and we node our index file. And what we've gotten is an array of promises. Okay, so we need to wait for all of them to resolve before we show the results to our users. So what we can do is use this handy promise.all, which is in itself a promise that will resolve when all of the promises contained within it also resolve. So what we'll do is we will make a slight change before we start using it because um, Axios, what it gives you back is sort of the entire HTTP result. I just want the data that it gives me. So to basically tackle that, we are going to make this an async function. So we'll put some braces here. And we will say const result. So we're going to await for the result. And then we are going to return the result.data. So anytime you use a function that has the keyword async in front of it, basically what it does is it gives you a promise. You're saying the result of this function call, um, need, the promise needs to resolve for it to be available. So if I were to console.log out the results, run this again, you can still see that I'm getting promises back even though I am async awaiting and then returning the data. We still need to wait for that initial promise to resolve before we have access to our data. But when it resolves, we'll have direct access to data. Cool. So we'll call this promises again. So what we'll do is we'll um, call promise.all, which is in itself a promise, as I mentioned. So we'll say the rates is equal to, and we will await promise.all. And because we mapped these currencies and we got an array of promises back, we can just pass all of those promises in right here. So now when I console.log the rates, it shouldn't be promises, it should be the resolved. What did I do? Oh, there we go. You can only use await inside functions that have been marked as async. So rerun that, and there we go. Now. The code basically sends off both promises at once and then promise.all waits for all of them to resolve and then it gives you an array of data back mapping to each of the promises you passed in. So our first one was USD and the cool thing is they're in the same order you pass them in. So USD here and then we've got our Canadian rates below. So that's basically how you do a whole bunch of asynchronous things at once. So let's switch this up a little bit and take a look at any. When would you use any? 
So all you need all of them to resolve. Any is when you don't really care which one resolves first. Just give me whatever one resolves first time. So the scenario I'm going to set up is that we're going to send off calls to both of these APIs at once to fetch the same rates for a currency. And whatever one we get back first, whatever API is quicker to respond, that's the data we're going to use. So I'm going to set up two async functions. The first one will be for uh, this Frankfurter API. So we'll call it the Frank rates. And it takes in um, a currency. And it sort of does the same thing as what we are doing, mapping it out here. Why don't I comment this out so that um, when I make it available, we will have that there. Okay, so we've got the franc rates. It takes in a currency, it awaits the result, and then it returns the data. But we need to tell it to use um, our franc rate API. There we go. I think. Cool. And we're going to set up another async function called the uh, rates rates, great function name, which is the same. So we're going to copy and paste this code. Then we will make it use the correct URL. Save it. Cool. So we have two functions that will go off and fetch the currency. And what we are going to do is basically do this. Const um, the rate for a specific currency. And we are going to say promise await promise dot any. So in here, we will pass an array of the promises. So we'll call frank rates for let's do for CAD. And rates rates for CAD. Okay, so we're passing in two function calls that will result in promises promise.any, which will, get, will give us the first one that resolves, and we'll put that into a rate variable. So we can then console.log out the rate. So there we go. We've got one Canadian rate. It's whatever one resolved first. I don't know which one resolved first, so let's figure that out. We'll just basically take a copy of that data and we will add in a source, and this will be Frank. And we'll add in a source for this one too. So we'll take a copy of all the data, add in a source. This is rates. So we'll rerun our code. And it's the rates API that gave us the first response. So that's the one being used. Call it again, rates, rates. Man, I don't know what's wrong with Frank. Pretty slow. But um, yeah, that's how it works. So in this video, we basically took a look at when you're dealing with multiple promises, you can use promise.all to wait for all of them to resolve, or you can use promise.any to, uh, you don't care which one resolves first, just as long as one of them does, and that will give you the response there. Hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, bye.